love Friday night game night, especially when we play with our friends. You're right about that. The more people, the better. Plus, my competitive side gets to come out. We better watch out for that. I think I'm gonna be on Lucky's team. I don't wanna be her opposition. Very funny, Diamond. Mommy, what game are we gonna play tonight? I'm very excited about this game. Kathy and I picked it up earlier today. It's called Black History Month. That sounds interesting. What exactly is it about? Well, according to the box, you split up into two teams, and the opposing team pulls a card. The card is a description of a historical black figure, and you have to guess the person the card describes. If you get it right, you roll the dice and move your piece further along the board. You lose a turn if you get the answer wrong, and continue if you keep getting the answers correct. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh yes, I've heard about this game. I've been wanting to play it since I took my African American Studies class last semester. Huh, <laughs> well look at that. The opportunity has presented itself. Great, I was thinking we can do guys versus girls since last time we did Joneses versus the DeLucas. Sounds good to me. Oh man, I wanted to be on Teziano's team. The class he took will surely have him at an advantage. You'll do fine without me, Diamond. I hope so. As things stand now, you might just win off of your class alone. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I know me and history are not friends, so that's a disadvantage there. So you do know pop culture, so I'm sure you'll do fine. The only way we will know is if we start playing the game. I'm going to start setting up the board. Great idea, Teziano. Let's roll the dice to see which team goes first. <laughs> Ladies, it seems like you got the long straw on this one. Good. Ladies first, as always. Pick the first card, gentlemen. Yeah, let's get this beatdown started. Oh, the smack talking begins already. Well, I hope you can back it up. Here we go. She was an impressive poet who had a troubled childhood and didn't speak for five years. Some of her famous works are I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, and, and still I rise. Who am I? Start the timer, Spike. Oh, this is easy. I love her writings. Maya Angelou. What a strong woman. You got it. Roll that dice. Nice. Seven spaces. Don't sound so bitter, Dad. Just read the next card, please. Oh, boy. Let me read then. I was a former slave who learned to read when I was eight years old by my slave owner's wife. I realized then the association between knowledge and freedom. When I was 20, I met a free black woman who helped me escape slavery by traveling by boat to New York pretending to be a sailor. Once there, I got involved in anti-slavery groups and talked about my experience as a slave. Many people were shocked by how well I spoke because I was a former slave. I wrote a book about my experience as a slave and was an abolitionist who fought against slavery. Who am I? I know who it is. You can read the card. Great job, big brother. I have no idea. Do any of you know? Is it Solomon Northup? Good guess, but no. Oh boy, I don't know this one. Time's up! Who is it? Frederick Douglass. It's said that Mr. Douglass's account of slavery in his book was so vivid and real, it made people see how horrific slavery really was. It's our turn now. I'll read the card. I was born in Hawaii to a white mother and a Kenyan father. I was a senator for Illinois for seven years, and I became the first black president. Easy, my man Barack Obama. Good job. I think we all knew that one. Roll the dice, Spike. And give us the next clue, ladies. Five spaces. Great, we are still ahead. Next card. Oh goodness, you guys are gonna get this for sure. Played basketball at the University of North Carolina, won six NBA titles, and played minor league baseball. Who am I? Michael Jordan, of course. I knew you would get it. Roll the dice already. Don't be upset, sister, because we're winning. Look at Case and Mean talking us. Don't worry, we will have our comeback. Seven spaces. I'll read this card. I think you guys might have trouble with this one. 
read the card, my beautiful wife. Thank you, my love. I was a lawyer whose most famous win was Brown versus the Board of Education. I became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. As a lawyer, I fought segregation and racism through the law. Who am I? It can't be Clarence Thomas. No, it's not. Do you give up? I don't know this one. I guess we do. It's Thurgood Marshall. Oh man, we lost our turn. And I still don't know what Brown vs. Education is. Let me tell you, little brother. Brown vs. the Board of Education of Topeka was a famous decision by the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in our country. It said state laws saying racially segregated public schools was unconstitutional. Separate but equal was not possible to do since separation makes things unequal. I'm not quite getting it. Basically you, Kaysen, and you, Spike, couldn't go to school together because you're white and you're black. That's terrible. I'm glad they fixed that. Yeah, me too. I want to be in the same class as my best friend. Okay, I'm glad we got that established. Let's read the next card. Yeah, stop stalling our comeback. Here we go. I was raised in Texas, where I had a rough childhood in foster care until I was adopted by my grandparents. I also found my love of gymnastics where I won three gold medals in the 2016 Olympics. And I have the most world medals in the sport. Who am I? Easy, Simone Biles. Haha, <laughs> let me roll that dice. I had no doubt you'd get that one. Two spaces, Diamond. See, it doesn't help to talk smack. We are still behind. Sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. I'm just competitive. I'll read this one. Oh boy. You ladies might as well roll the dice already. I had a hard childhood, but overcame it by becoming one of the most popular daytime talk show hosts. I didn't stop there. I have my own cable vision network and magazine. I have helped jumpstart the careers of many people, and I have a heart for my philanthropist's work. Go ahead and say it. Oh, it's Oprah Winfrey. Roll the dice. Nice job, Gianna. Thank you, Lucky. I do adore Oprah. Her level of fame is astonishing. I love to be on her level one day. Yes, but one of the most impressive things about Oprah is her ability to survive hardship in her life. And yet, she's so generous and loving. Actually, a lot of people so far have overcome hardships to do amazing things with their lives. Simone Biles, Frederick Douglass, and Oprah. That's true. It shows you can get out of a bad situation if you have faith. Yes, having faith in God can allow you to achieve things you otherwise wouldn't. Okay, let's get back to the game. We are about to win. Okay, calm down, love. Here we go. I became a millionaire by selling a hair formula to cure dandruff and ball spots. I helped empower women by offering them beauty education, confidence, and financial freedom. With my wealth, I was very generous, donating to the YMCA, NAACP, and giving out college scholarships. I never forgot where I came from, a young widow living in poverty. Who am I? Is it Madam CJ Walker? It's gotta be her. You got it! Yes! Can I roll the dice for you, Lucky? Yeah, sure you can. Ten spaces! And we win the game! Congratulations, you all deserve the win. Thank you, Tez. That was a good game. Yeah, we should play another game. Is everyone down? Yeah, this game's really yes, fun. Yes, absolutely. Let's do this! I want to win this time! Ladies first men again. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians chapter 4 verses 12 and 13. 
Hello there friends, it's Narika here and I hope you enjoy today's episode. I have a few questions for you and you're more than welcome to ask your parents for help if you need it. 1. What is Black History Month? 2. Who was your favorite person we talked about in the episode? 3. What is a philanthropist? I know this one is a little hard, so I'm going to help you out with it. A philanthropist is a person who is unselfish and cares about the welfare of others. They help by donating their time and money. 4. What is the highest court in America? 5. What is faith to you? 6. How do you strengthen your faith? 7. When times get hard for you, what do you do? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.